Hi everybody, Free Peas Afterlife, contact myself Paul and today I'm with my sister-in-law Susan and my niece Rebecca with my great nephew Louis. Um, we're actually at the place where my wife is scattered, she's just behind me. Uh, my wife has a, a message for her sister Susan so what we're going to do is while they're reminiscing here I'm going to go and film up there for a little bit and then come back and do some necro necrophonic. That sound good to you? Mm, right. uh, I shall see you in a bit. All right. uh, let's try this guys. This is actually uh, I believe Camberwell Cemetery in Broccoli. Not too sure about the quality because I'm using my uh, my 4K camera and the sun is sort of intermittent. It's going in between the clouds and that, so it may go a bit dull at times. You can see uh, how sunken these graves are. And I don't think they bother maintaining them. Look at the damage that tree's done to that one. I'm actually drawn to this area guys, this one is so old, this side of it. And when I get up the top there I'll show you all them ones over there. This is pretty big this place. Last time I came here was to scatter my wife's ashes and to visit my my best friend Ian that died. I think it must be a good 10 years now. But he was only 43 when he passed. He had a very fast life. Uh, lived on fast foods, so he died of uh, clotted arteries. He did enjoy his fast foods. I must admit I do, but since he died I cut down, started eating more healthy. It's strange. We haven't had a breath of wind all day, and I come here, and then the wind picks up. I'm going to fire up a ghost tube. See if we can get anything. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, that's loaded guys, it's running. Are there any souls here that like to communicate with me? My name is Paul. I've actually come here today to pay respects to my wife Lynn. And I felt that she's got a message for her sister. That's why I've come here to where she was scattered. Because it may be a stronger message. Uh, let's see, all the way over there as well. So if it's a bit shaky guys, I'm holding you on a camera stand. <laughs> Down. Down? 
Well, I've just come up the hill. You want to go back down? Who's talking to me? My name is Paul. Sure, what that bird is. I think it's a raven. You always tend to see them in graveyards, don't you? Ravens or crows. Look at some of these guys. I wonder if they've got any family that's still alive. Souls, I don't know if you can hear me. My name is Paul. I go around attempting to help souls that may be trapped or lost. Do any of you reside here waiting for help? Evil resides here. Really? That's interesting. Why would evil reside here? Pardoned. Pardoned? Do you need to be pardoned? Forgiven? There were more recent ones up there. It's a very on and off day today guys. It's like cloudy one minute and sunny the next. We had a little bit of rain and it stopped. What evil resides here and why? Or do souls consider themselves evil because they didn't believe? Hurting. Hurting. Right guys, I'm going to attempt to walk in between. Thank you. You're welcome. I come with the utmost respect, souls. I mean you no harm whatsoever. If you wish to communicate with me, you're quite welcome. If you need to get something off your chest... Doomed. Doomed? Why? Nobody's ever doomed. There's always a way. Do you seek redemption? Do you seek forgiveness? Are you hurting through guilt? Are you trapped? Ryan. Ryan? Hi Ryan. Not had that name before. My name is Paul. How old were you when you died? This is what I don't understand guys, right? Graves are supposed to point one way. It's supposed to be east. And yet these are all pointing that way and these are all pointing downwards. Bless. I will do. 
I think these are children's ones, look how small they are. So I'm going to have to walk this way I think. I'm not going to tread over anybody. Check it out guys, look, they're literally buried, even the stones themselves. I will be saying a prayer for you. Any and all souls that are here, I'll be praying to help you. Because I don't see it right that you're trapped on the earth. You should be able to fly free. You should be in heaven, in unity. Excuse me, just cutting through here. Look at this, look. There's so many. Look at the condition they're in. So to me that is disrespectful. They have no respect for the dead. Look. How long would it take to just tidy, tidy these graves up? Bribed time. Look at this one. Look. Yeah. I do believe I can walk through these gaps. I'm not upsetting anybody. This one, look, looks like the lids come Bend off. It. Yes, I am wearing. I'm wearing a, a green citrine. Brandy. Brandy. I got a nephew called Brandon. That's Rebecca's brother. I think this all over here is all scattering sight, so we'll see what we can get over here if anything. Got another child one there. So sad guys, isn't it? I can't even begin to you know the pain of losing a child. I mean, I've lost contact with my granddaughter because of the jealousy of the other granddad. I'm hoping she's old enough now, like she's uh, seven this September, so she will remember me. When she's a bit older, she'll look for me. You can see lots of graves over there as well. What do they put right next to it? A children's playground. Wandering. Satan. Really? Satan has no jurisdiction jurisdiction here. Okay guys, that looks like a grave there. 
I thought maybe these are graves. One second guys, I'm going to pause you for a minute. Okay guys, I'm hoping you can hear us. Um, we have messages for Lynn, but I think she has messages for her sister. So um, I'm going to play this Necrophonic app and hopefully the camera will pick you up. What we'll do is I'll put the camera, the Necrophonic over there near you and we'll ask the questions from here. It was round about here, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. it was right, so I shall balance you there. And begin. <laughs> Lynn, can you hear us? place where we scattered your ashes. I got the message from you that you needed to get a message to your sister. Are you okay where you are, Lynn? Would you like to give a message to your sister? We don't miss the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Your great nephew Louis is here. Can you come through, Lynn? Thank you. 
said in the chapel. Okay, I'm hoping you got your message across. We all love and miss you. Don't worry, we're not going to forget you. So God bless you. Okay guys, let's cut this off. Right, so what I will do is I'm going to say a quick prayer up there and then we'll be off. So let me flip you around. Right. Won't be a minute guys. Okay. Right, I'll have to walk all the way back up to them graves again. So that's where we got the uh, the negativity. So tell me in the comments guys, what do you feel about burial? Because from what I've heard on my videos right from the beginning Sitting graveyards are always asking for help and when I say what help do they need it comes up with trapped in stone whether that's the ancient ones or not I don't know but it does make you think souls if you're here gather around me Trust and believe in our Lord God and in heaven. I call upon our Lord God today and I ask that he help any and all souls that may be lost or stuck or being held against their will. Please help these souls to find their way to heaven, to be in unity, to be, My baby. To be as one. Help them to be with their friends, their families, their loved ones. Where am I? If you're anywhere here, you must go to the light soul. Please help these souls to find their way, Lord. Anything that is negative here, please rebuke it, never to, re never to return. Amen. Right. Um, let me put this down here for a sec. Okay guys, just a quick video really. Um, wanted to get a message from Lynn to her sister. I'm not sure what it said yet until I get home, whether she came through or not. But who's to say, may have. <coughs> oh yeah. So anyway guys, I say peace to you all, God bless you all, and I shall see you very soon in the next video.